So, for those of you that's just getting here, I am Goddess Just Be. I help people in the areas of mind, body, and soul. I've been talking about eating for your blood type because your blood and your food creates a chemical reaction called lectins. Lectins cause inflammation, autoimmune disease, to name a few. You know, it goes on and on. It causes lupus. It causes it costs your acids. It costs your, your cancer. It costs your allergies. It costs causes everything because this is there's nothing new underneath the sun we've done this before we've been here before right and being here before our ancestors who were in tune to all-knowing infinite intelligence they had certain foods that that they consumed right and so our blood has memory of those times when we were gods like right man has manipulated food and now practices medication taking us away from the herbal healing and causing disease to our body. And a lot of people don't catch on to that until they have maybe a life-threatening issue where, or they hit a cross in the road where even the man-made medication ain't helping them, you know? And so that's where I come in. I come at you, come here teaching you how to pick the foods that based upon your blood type or at a high frequency and I activate your body to get into a healing state of being. So if you don't know your blood type and you're here for the first time, your blood type is very important, okay? If you don't know it, you go to Eldon, I mean, you go to Amazon, I'm sorry. You go to Amazon and you order your Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, at home kit. E-L-D-O-N, that's the name of the kit on El Amazon. That's how you spell it, E-L-D-O-N. And inside the kit, it comes with a card that you're gonna prick your ring finger and you're gonna put your blood on the four circles of the car. And the plasma in your blood is gonna form an image. If it looks like the image at the top of this here cheat sheet, that means that you are blood type O and so forth. O is the bloodline of the original people in the physical reality, you know, the Anunnaki gods, the higher conscious ones, your ancestors, my ancestors. Okay, okay, one earthling. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about then. That's beautiful. It's beautiful to know when there's somebody that, that's in alignment, in, in alignment with that knowledge because it all goes hand in hand. Everything is connected. Yeah, know the lighting is really good. Your backdrop is nice. I love the title <laughs> on your kitchen wall. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You gave me a good detail. I, I appreciate that. Yes, I was wondering what was going on. Okay. So yeah, what was that? What was what? What do you mean? Everything that I said, you're going to have to watch the replay. So, with all of that being said, I upload my videos to YouTube when I'm done. TikTok takes a couple of hours. But, like I said, we're talking about diabetes. So, stay tuned. The paper. Oh, the paper is what the cheat sheet that you get from when you order the Eldon at Home Kit. E-L-D-O-N. This is an example of what your blood is going to look like on the car after you prick your finger to find out your blood type. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about eating for your blood type to avoid dis-ease and disharmony, okay? The subject today going to be diabetes. And I want you to, hey, Miss Benzo, thank you for being here. And, <laughs> and we're going to be talking about diabetes because right now there's this medication called Ozempic that a lot of people are jumping on who are diabetics because it helps them, supposedly helps them with their diabetes. It's supposed to also help with blood sugar levels for people, right? It's a, it's a common thing right now and people jumping on it. Actually, it's supposed to help the diabetics in, in the blood sugar, but people now are <laughs> jumping on it to use it to help them lose weight. And out of that diabetics, the medication for them is in short demand. <laughs> it's about $900, 900 to $1,000 <laughs> for them to get this particular medication, with, which is something that they inject in their stomach that will lead to further disease and disharmony. And we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. But first of all, I wanna talk about diabetes, for example, as, as it pertains to blood type, okay? And why you should consider, 
eating for your blood type if you have diabetes because it'll be the healthier way to go about your journey all right so and I'm talking I'm, I'm just I'm briefly reading something for from the book called eat right for your blood type but I want you to hear this as it pertains to diabetes the blood type diet eating right for your blood type which I have a highly beneficial food list on my website link in the bio sort of pub.org is an effective treatment for diabetes and the prevention of type 2 diabetes now keep that in mind the blood type diet gonna prevent you from having it and having to take a shot in your stomach so we comparing the blood type eating right for your blood type versus this shot that you get in your stomach that the doctor is allowing you all to get to just to lose weight right type 2 diabetes was once referred to as an adult onset diabetic diabetes but increasingly it's also starting to be for young people so if you think about the word diabetes there's the whole word diet inside of that i understand that people may have um issues with losing weight or controlling you know putting in their mouth what they put in their mouth and the issue that they have is simply because of this thing called high fructose corn syrup that tricks your brain into thinking that you're hungry when you're really full. That's in a lot of our ingredients, right? Another issue that people might be having as it pertains to what they put in their mouth is the fact that they don't have any or practice any self-control in any area of their life. So it's going to show up. It's going to show up. Their lack, lack of self-control going to show up in other areas of their life, right? Because you're going to always run into you. No matter what state of being you're in, you're going to run into you. So, blood type A and blood type B individuals are mo mostly prone to diabetes caused by the lack of insulin. Now, blood type A, they're the ones that have the least amount of hydrochloric acid. Hey, <laughs> Tia Tia, in my bed. <laughs> They have the, they're the ones that have the least amount of hydrochloric acid in their gut. So they end up with stomach issues. Remember that as we get deeper into this. Blood type B individuals, they're the ones that are pretty much balanced. They're pretty much balanced and they actually can escape any type of sickness and disease because of their balanced state of being, right? They have hydrochloric acid in their gut but they could develop this thing called diabetes okay it's caused by the act of insulin the hormone manufactured by the pancreas responsible for allowing glucose to enter to the cells of the body the cause of insulin dep deprivation is the destruction of beta cells of the pancreas which are so cells that are capable of producing the insulin. Now I'm talking about A's and B's, but anybody can develop diabetes because like, like I said in a, a minute ago, it's basically diet. You got to start eating right for your blood type. The foods that are on the food list for your blood type create digestive enzymes, clear up the gut, allow inflammation to be subsided inside the gut, and repairing of the gut. Even in A's, it increases the hydrochloric acid. They're the ones with the least amount of acid, but it increases it. It gives them an increase of microbiome diversity in their gut too, helping them thrive. But when they go to begin to take medications or injections inside of their stomach, the opposite is gonna happen. Inflammation is going to be caused inside of the stomach. It's going to affect the pancreas. Their, their, is, their stomach is kind of like being put to sleep, so to speak, while they're supposedly their liver and their kidney is supposed to be filtering waste out of their body, body by sh shooting themselves, you know, by putting this needle in their stomach. That's what happens. And so side effect comes from that because now the stomach is like on a night-night, right? Horrible side effects. 
and it's gonna affect different type of blood, different blood types differently. Some people might be okay with it while others are suffering. But the tail end of the fact that you just manipulated the hormones by taking this medication, when you get off, because it's something that you're supposed to stay on for the rest of your life, letting you know that it ain't gonna heal you. When you get off, a lot of people have been complaining that they gained the weight back. Because you just, all you did was put your stomach to sleep. A lot of people complain after they get off, if they get off, that now they have an ulcer in their stomach. Now they are worse off than what they was because you just put the stomach to sleep so you could heal supposedly or clear supposedly the toxins in the liver and the toxins in the kidneys. So with these toxins coming out, these people no longer have to have the urge of eating as much as they once did. So their appetite is almost like it's suppressing their appetite because the stomach is asleep. It's night night. It, it's suppressing the appetite so they don't want to put anything down, but it's also causing fatigue because your gut and your brain are intertwined, remember? It's also causing them to want to vomit. It's also causing them to be nauseous, nauseous every day. It's causing something as gross as when the people belch, they feel as if they're passing ga gas. They t the belch smells to them and tastes to them as if they pass gas in their mouth. Okay? So, <laughs> although there is currently no effective natural treatment alternative for injectable insulin replacement therapy for type 1 diabetes, one important natural remedy to consider using is quercetin. I can't pronounce that word well, but I can tell you this. It is inside of your vegetables. It is merely an antioxidant that's derived from plants, quercetin. Anyway, every highly beneficial fruit and vegetable on your meal plan has highly beneficial antioxidants that could be used in lieu of going to the doctor and trying to get some Ozempic, which is $900 to $1,000 so that you could inject your stomach with. It is so much easier for you to eat for your blood type. You don't have to wean yourself off of eating for your blood type. It's a whole new lifestyle that you go like. You don't get mentally fatigued from this here thing. But the real reason why I wanted to teach y'all this here about the difference between eating for your blood type and, and, and using the new little fad is because of this here. This medication, this Ozempic medication is supposed to be for people with diabetes, right? And, and it makes you understand how the medical industry really don't care about you because right now, being that a side effect from it is to lose weight, they have the celebrities jumping on it and using it. And now the poor little diabetic patients, it, even though it's crappy medication anyway, and they should just eat for their blood type, but the poor little diabetic patients having a hard time getting medication that's supposed to be helping them just a little bit. Because it's been found out that a side effect is to lose weight. So the price of it, the hot skyrocketed. The, the doctors, the doctors that's supposed to be in there for, for your health and your care, yeah, they have off brands of med of this medication. They have so many different off brands of it. So now they can sell it. They can sell it to their little patients and their patients can get onto this medication. Meanwhile, their patients can't pancreas but gonna be suffering. Meanwhile, now their patients gonna be developing ulcers. But, but, but not, not, not just that. Not just that, not just the fact that the patients who it's for is going to end up suffering and be on this stuff for the, in the, the, for the rest of their life. They would turn their back on their patients who really need it and go out and sell this stuff to people that just want to use it to lose 20 pounds, you know, so, to the celebrities. So they jack up the prices of things like that. So when celebrities like the Kim Kardashians of the world get on, on social media platforms and talk about you know, I, I just was on um, Ozempic and I lost da-da-da-da-da. Of course, the people 
with low self-concepts and they want to overnight peel instant manifestation but don't want to do nothing they're going to jump on that that little phase and they're going to cause themselves this ease they're going to be hooked on this because now let me tell you this this is a hormone it's it's called the glp hormone <laughs> That's now tricking your brain into thinking that you're full. You was always on, you, if you're a diabetic, you've already been on a hormone called, <laughs> you are on a hormone that's inside of this high fructose corn syrup that was tricking your brain into making you think that you was hungry when you was really full. That wasn't good enough. So now there's a medication that's gonna do the opposite. Ozempic is gonna now trick your brain into making you think you're full. And now you ain't gonna eat nothing. And now it said it said that it's going to pull toxins from your liver and from your kidneys. Diabetics, those are the worst people to, to have some kind of diuretic, anything that's being pulled from their kidneys and they didn't change their lifestyle just yet. Cause you know why? Because most of them diabetics don't be even wanting to drink no water. Those diabetics that I know, they drink cold drinks. They like they wine, they like their beer. So now they're gonna be even more dehydrated locked up so if you're dehydrated because you have to drink plenty of water if you consume this medication so now if you're dehydrated and your stomach is on night night sleep time because you just decided you wanted to put a, a needle in your stomach to stop it <laughs> from doing what it's supposed to do and you're dehydrated now your bowels backed up because this this medication this, this shot ain't for you to 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 be using the bathroom be, via your stomach working no you using the bathroom only because it's trying to supposedly filter your liver are you kidding me but 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 still but still yeah she's telling the truth the patients who really need the medication can't get their meds but 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 now your stomach is night night your stomach is it's night 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 thank you i appreciate that and so diabetics actually or people that actually need to lose weight they really need their stomach to be walked to get rid of all fecal matter they really they, if they knew how to drink hot water which bless their heart a lot of them like i say don't like to drink up to almost a gallon for the average adult you need to be up to almost a gallon of water a day based upon your size. If these people are obese, they need to be right at the gallon or probably a little bit more because it's based upon how much weight you weigh, you know, how many pounds you weigh. So they, they already locked up in the stomach. So now if your stomach is locked up and you didn't put a needle in your stomach and you on Ozempic, you got a whole needle going in your stomach, putting it night, now, night, night, now you have hard fecal matter on top of being dehydrated even more than what you once was now okay you had inflammation already in your stomach because of the food that was just sitting there in one place because inflammation starts when you have you know you don't have any oxygen there you know you're deprived of, of things moving around you know all ways so now the lining of the stomach is red and stuff so if if it's swollen it's acids okay and it ain't moving and it's red and it's full of all fecal matter that was trying to get out but because you put the needle in your stomach you ain't getting out and it ain't moving you see where I'm going here, y'all? People are just causing themselves so much of this ease and disharmony. And so since it's not moving and it's so red and it's so inflamed in there and it's so acidic and they got a parasites in there and now they're belching up their fecal matter smell because they're backed up successfully. Mm -hmm. They're backed up. When they could have had digestive enzymes and they put it in their mouth with, with a simple juice for their um, blood type. When, when they could have just ate the fruits and vegetables that allowed them to, to that would sweep against the walls of the large and small intestines and, and, and expel old fecal matter. When they could have had their at home herbal potion that I have available on the website because it'll lubricate them kidneys and the liver yeah, and it allowed them same toxins that this so-called medication is supposed to be pulling out. It allowed those toxins to come out of the liver and the kidney while having the stomach still properly working and digesting food. It ain't tricking your brain into thinking that you're hungry or tricking your brain to think that you're full. No, you ain't no brain trick when you eat right for your blood type. The beautiful thing is serotonin is, is now being secreted. 
the beautiful thing is now is when you eat right for your blood type, your hormones now in, in balance. The beautiful thing is now you have energy and a quality of, of um, good, clear thoughts, mental clarity, cognitive thinking. The beautiful thing is you ain't stinking no more. You know, you ain't even to, to the place where you, you got to put people out the house because you went to the bathroom. Those days are over. But but if you're on this, this is Ozempic, you, your, your breath smells like old fecal matter because your gut is stopped up. Your stomach has been successfully put to night night. And you did it. You did it. You did it when you put it in your stomach because you have to literally stick yourself in the stomach and then you gonna turn around and wonder why your stomach hurt make 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 these things make sense y'all the suffering that we put our own self through and you know one thing that I, being an introvert and being an observer of energy and watching things when I used to go to the doctor I used to sit there, you know, sometimes you'll wait at certain doctor's office. You have to wait a long time to be seen, like, right? And the thing that used to always play back to me, it was actually two things. It was why none of them doctors ever asked me what I was eating. And then the second thing was, why is it that every time I come up in here, they got these people with these briefcases that go up to the counter and they'll be having their little suits on. They go up to the counter and they're always cutting me. Because I was young when I started going to the hospital, you know? And I didn't understand that that was, you know, the salespeople for the drugs, right? So they let the little drug dealers go in first and talk to the doctor. You know, they get, you know, they get the stock up on a newly released drug. They get all kind of incentives for selling us the newly released drug. They even tried before to give me an incentive to try a certain medication based upon a disharmony that I was feeling at that time and to pay me money to be a little lab rat for them you see what I'm saying and, and as I begin to find out about consciousness and health and wellness I'm like man they like the greatest drug dealers that they are <laughs> manipulating the people and the people in the lobby we just like the little users and we be sitting up there I gotta see the doctor I gotta get my medication when there's an easier place to be Eating right for your blood type is so important. Knowing what your blood type is is so important, y'all. So listen to this here. So uh, keratin has been shown to help to prevent many of the complications stemming from lifelong diabetes, such as cataracts, cataracts, neuropathy, and cardiovascular problems. <laughs> several interesting studies and that's basically eating from your meal plan right highly beneficial foods for your blood type several inter interesting studies show that certain food lectins may actually help the pancreas of diabetics of diabetics re uh, re regenerating help the pancreas of diabetics regenerating the insulin production beta cells these include lectins from fava beans and the standard supermarket silver dollar mushrooms. That's on the meal plan right there. If you are type A or B, you might want to add fava beans to your diet, F-A-V-A. -A. If you are O or AB, adding silver dollar mushrooms may help you. Eating right for your blood type. <laughs> You got, you got all of this. You have the quercetin that you're longing for to help you with diabetes inside of your food. But a lot of people still gonna go get the in Ozempic because Kim Kardashian is doing. We wanna be like Kimmy. We don't know ourselves. Maybe Kim knows herself better than us. So we'll do what Kimmy's doing. Yeah. People with type Two, diabetes typically have high level of insulin in their bloodstreams. Oh, I wonder how that happened. You know, when you eat the foods that you eat directly have an effect on your blood. It's like you choose something, it goes into your bloodstream first, and then it go over there to that liver, which is how you live, 
it goes over there to that liver and if it's toxic the liver tries to keep and house those same said toxins and this is why <laughs> It is so important to have the proper oils. When you consume the proper oils that's highly beneficial for your blood type, them oils going to go right there to that liver. And it's going to lubricate that liver. Oh, but but Ozempic is supposed to do that. It's supposed to be a drug that if you if you stick it in your gut, then okay, it's going to go through your bloodstream and, and supposedly it's supposed to go to the liver and help to expel it. But it's it's dead in this part. Night, night, stomach. Let's just get everything out the liver. Oh, don't worry about the food that that been up in there for, for months because you didn't go to the bathroom. Don't worry about that. We're gonna put this to night, night, and we're just gonna clean the liver. We're just gonna clean it again. When you have stuff like just the, almost like this so-called chlorophyll idea that it's gonna brush it freshen your breath you know the liquid chlorophyll fed that everybody jumps on it's gonna freshen your breath and be a natural internal deodorant when you have things like that it's you can't you can't just take and think you're getting benefits by taking one molecule of something and think it's gonna work for everything so for the people that jump on a liquid coffee, it's a cool little thing, yeah, it's minty and it'll make you smell good. But baby, you went along with chlorophyll, you need everything else that would have been in that plant too. You need your magnesium because vitamins and minerals work hand in hand. You can't have a whole bunch of calcium without magnesium because they like cousins, you know, brothers and sisters. If you have too much of the calcium in your body, you become too calcified. You need the balance of magnesium and calcium. You can't go up in the garden and pull up a kale and say, oh, I'm going to just take the chlorophyll out of here. No magnesium. You stay behind. I don't need you. When you find people doing that with minerals and, 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 and drugs, you, you're not doing with everything that you need. You need over 102 minerals and stuff for your life force. You're an electric, be electric being, so you need electrolytes, plural, not just one. You can't go to the salt and say, even though they try it with, hot, with white salt because they strip it of all of its minerals, leaving two. But you can't go to the salt and say, hey, salt, I just want, I just want just, just, just one, just one thing. So, so they, they have a salt, a white toxic salt that has been stripped. It has two things, sodium and chloride, but then they have the colored salt and it has all minerals and it has 80 plus minerals. And that's the real one. That's the one you really need to be consuming to avoid having high blood pressure. My point here is you cannot go and have just one thing, one mineral out of something that's supposed to have a plethora of them and think that one thing going to serve you because it's not, because it's not balanced. That's, that's, that's going down the road that is, 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 is broad, but it leads to destruction though. It might be easy to go down that road, but it's going to lead to destruction in the end because you will suffer. As you bring your, your body out of balance, it's guaranteed that you shall suffer right yeah real uh, meds are the fruits vegetables water yeah and them herbs so this is this is the last part that i want to um just share with you all because it <laughs> because this is my passion and i just hope i'm hopeful that those of you who are out there trying to lose weight that you will begin to get the weight loss sheet code that you will begin to eat highly beneficial foods because they they exist they're on, on my website, the link in the bio. I have a whole cheat sheet, no matter what your blood type is, that it'll work for you based upon when the food enters into your blood system, pretty much when you chew it, it goes into your blood system, it'll recognize, oh, she wants to lose weight. Oh, the minerals up in here are needed for her body. Oh, she wants to clean house. Oh, let's help her pancreas. Let's heal this inflammation. Let's help the liver and the kidneys. Let's help the large and small intestines. Let's help ev help every part of her because we remember this here. That's that's what eating right for your blood type and the weight loss cheat code go do for you. But the last the last couple of sentences I want to read to you is that people with type two diabetes typically have high levels of um, insulin in their bloodstreams, but their their tissues lacks sensitivity to insulin. This condition develops over time and is usually the result of a poor diet. I'm going to say that one more time. This condition develops over time and is usually the result of a poor diet. I got to say it again. 
This condition develops over time and it is usually the result of a poor diet. Type A diabetics is often observed in olds who have eaten dairy, wheat, corn, corn products for many years. That's on your avoid list. It's on your avoid list as the, oh, I did a video to the O's and told them to leave that kind of stuff alone. Type A's who eat a lot of meat and dairy. Type A's who eat a lot of meat and dairy. A's have no highly beneficial meat on their meal plan. And they should be staying away from dairy because I teach that dairy helps to produce more mucus. Type A is already struggling with the production or overproduction of mucus in their body. So type 2 diabetes is often observed in the O's who have eaten dairy, wheat, corn products for many years and in type A's who eat a lot of meat and dairy foods. Type 2 diabetes is associated with being overweight, having high cholesterol, high um, triglycerides, and an elevated blood pressure. In this respect, any blood type can develop type 2 diabetes because it stems from diet. Diabetes stem from diet. Okay? So for those of you who know about this Ozempic shot, <laughs> It is supposedly a, a shot that you take if you're type 2 diabetics. The side effect is weight loss. It's a side effect. <laughs> it's a side effect. And so the fancy little medical industry that has decided, so since it's a side effect for weight loss, and the, and the celebrities and, 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 and people that don't want to dare eat right for their blood type, they jump it on this medication because it'll be instant weight loss <laughs> i want to encourage you to eat right for your blood type because along with that weight loss you're you're manipulating your hormones so when you get off of that which you're supposed to be on it for the rest of your life or wean off of it because the weight gonna return back after the hormones realize that they ain't being manipulated no more they gonna return back at full force and then you're gonna be a little chunky lady a man all over again or when you get off of it, surprise, surprise, now you have an ulcer. And what you could have did was ate right for your blood type. Surprise, surprise, you have another disease. Your pancreas is, is out. So I want to share with you some of the, the, um, <laughs> some of the side effects. Like I said, it's weight loss. Oh, yeah, 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 you got to lose weight. But you might have pancre pancreatitis. You might have acute kidney issues afterwards. Oh, you might have gallbladder problems. You might get a headache. You might get fatigue, vomiting, nausea. You might feel just miserable, but you're losing weight. Oh, you feel horrible, but you're losing weight temporarily though. Cause when you get off the weight gonna come right back. Yeah, you're gonna have diarrhea probably, or you'll get uh, constipated because you just shut your stomach down when you put that needle in your stomach. Oh, you might get stomach pain. Yeah, because you, your stomach don't want to be sleep. No, no, it don't want to be sleep. It's supposed to be contracting and moving bowel and stuff. But it's almost like you just gave it something to just relax it to go to, to sleep, you know, and, and don't move. So I'm going to put food up in there, but I don't want you to move no more. So you might get your little ulcer. Your stomach is actually slowing down. And when it slows down, it's getting inflamed now because the food that is slowed down and that happened to be up in here is causing you inflammation now, right? There is also a black box warning for a rare type of thyroid cancer from using this here drug. What's well, that you might get a rare cancer and you know it makes common sense because you didn't put this here part of you to sleep night night and everything getting backed up up in here and so the thyroid issue has everything to do with toxicity listen up o's and a's because i'm really talking to you the most you already have issues with your thyroid o's you end up having issues with with uh, peptic ulcers already because of your high hydrochloric acid 
You don't want a second kind of issue because you didn't put this here to sleep because because you really need to get this stuff that you didn't this this weed and this corn. You really need to get this stuff out of here. You don't you can't afford to put your stomach to night night because you already have problems in this particular area just because of your blood type. Hey, you have so much mucus already and it's hard for you to digest stuff already, eh? Because of your lack of hydrochloric acid. You are already prone to stomach cancer. So, so Ozempic would not be the thing for you. You wouldn't want to put this here tonight, night, because what's going to happen to all of that mucus now? Leading to the reason why O's and A's would be at the highest risk of all to try something like an Ozempic. It would destroy them from the inside. It would be life-threatening to them from the inside. And I'm willing, to, I'm willing to bet that the ones that probably are doing okay with it, so to speak, it's probably going to be them bees, the balanced ones. I'm willing to put, put, put some thousands that they had like a, a, a study on the blood types and who was kind of like bobbing and weaving because the bee blood type is a balanced blood type and it can bob and weave through a lot of different sicknesses and diseases. We got that bounce back. B, B is, hey, hey, how you doing, Serenity? B is kind of like that bounce back blood type, but not so much. Not so much when you already have lack of hydrochloric acid, the A's end up suffering. The A's not so much, all right? So with this medication, like I said, they'll have val variable results because of the different type of bloods we have but why gamble with your health like that when it could all be so simple when 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 actually that um the digestive enzymes could be immediately um so replenished in your gut to break down this food to help you by getting your um bromelain from your pineapple juice oh you can't have chewed up pineapples but bromelain and the pineapple juice help you with digestive enzymes when, when that at-home herbal portion with all of your highly beneficial oils, your highly beneficial herbs, the alchemist oil, that'll help lubricate your liver once anything gets inside, once it gets inside of your bloodstream, you will go to the bathroom because it's going to burst through that clogged uh, gallbladder duct and allow them toxins that were sitting on that liver to be expelled via the large and small intestines. It ain't going to be, your large and small intestines ain't going to be sleeping. I'm just trying to teach you all how to use wisdom. Common sense is not really common in this instant manifestation of foolery land that we live in because you want instant manifestation so you'll consume a rock to get your instant manifestation. You you will sit there and it, 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 it just don't make any common sense if for somebody to sit there and to inject themselves in the stomach at home. Man, my grandma, when I was a little girl, my grandma Al would be playing and she would always be like, go get my medicine bag. You know, she walked to some place and it took, some part of the house and it took her forever to get there, right? Because, you know, she was a sickly lady. It took her forever to get there. Then when she got wherever she was, she had left her bag wherever she just left. And all the time she moved around, she had to interrupt us from playing to tell us, Go get my medicine back. My grandma, when I was a little girl, used to have to make me, used to make me stick her. She, 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 she was a diabetic. To stick her in her arm. I hated doing that. It baffles me to see people out of alignment with themselves so much that they're sticking themselves in the arm at free will with medication. But they don't want to change they, 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 what they put in their mouth. They don't want to change the diet. Meanwhile, the liver re rebuilds itself, the kidneys, the lining of the stomach every three days churning over and shedding, you get renewed. But the people that ain't getting renewed ain't changing their diet though. They're doing the same thing. And then they add on to the lack of renewing by sticking themselves in the stomach with a needle. I had a baby, I had two boys. And my second, my husband told me, cause I was still numb. My husband told me, he's like, when they were trying to give me the epidural, he is like, B, that, that needle, it's like, I know you can't see it, but don't, don't let them do it no more. They're sticking you with a long needle in your back. Can you take it? Because the first time they stuck me, I only got numb on one side of my body. And I was telling them, you know, I need some more for the pain. He was like, can you take this? 
Are you going to risk getting being paralyzed by them constantly sticking you with this long needle? And when I saw the look in his eyes as a man looking at me, telling me that this is a long needle that it scared him, <laughs> I was like, no, I'm going to take it then. I'm going to take it. I didn't do that. Because they just tell you to be still. Hold, hold on to the, the pillow and be still. Embrace yourself. I couldn't dare think of the idea of me being able to see myself, stick myself in my stomach because I wanted to lose weight. I don't give a damn if I was Humpty, one, Humpty Dumpty sitting on the wall at 500 pounds. We'd have to do something different. And here's your different thing to do, diabetics. It's time to change your diet. It's time to get back to the things that are for the healing of the nation. <laughs> it's time to stop consuming things that's tricking your brain to do anything. You need your mind. You need it. It's time to research what you're putting in your body and eat the foods that your ancestors already knew that were good for you. It's time to honor your mother and father so your days can be long upon this land. And in honoring them, you're honoring your ancestors. You're honoring what they ate. You're honoring your bloodline. You're staying true to who you are. My dad was on incident, chewing himself in the stomach a few years and the doctor took him off because he was losing too much weight. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because I saw it. I saw it with my grandmother. I saw it. My auntie had me stick her. See, they look at look at the other people that had to stick other people and had to watch other people. And so, the, for those of you diabetics out there, you got your loved ones surrounded by you, and they they suffer. This is the reason. The, the reason why I talked about this today is because this person I love so much. But they suffering. They suffering. They ain't here. They ain't here. They not on this live. Oh no, they were the dead. Listen to this here. This is too much. No, I, I, I'm a, I can't do that. I need something easy because my job, my job, I can't be, I can't go to the bathroom on a type of job I have. I can't try your sustained detox that's going to get rid of old fecal matter and clean up me, clean up my body at a cellular level. No, no, they say. The shot in my stomach is do it and then I'm done, they say. <laughs> but guess what? This like they third week. They homesick now though. <laughs> they homesick. If they would have took sustained detox about a third week, they would be, well, with sustained detox, first of all, don't get you down like that. But if they would have been taking sustained detox or herbal cleanse, their stomach wouldn't be paralyzed right now. They wouldn't be belching right now and it's smelling like bowel movement. I'm talking about regurgitating your old fecal matter coming out of your mouth because your stomach is night night. Like what, what, when did that make any sense? Then it caused, hey, hey, how you doing, Monique? Then it caused 900 to $1,000 to make yourself sick. <laughs> 900 to a thousand dollars for you to purchase this year injection you get a month's worth of it and once a week you stick your own self in the stomach to put your stomach to sleep no stomach no 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 i don't care if you have parasites up in there they're gonna go to sleep they're gonna have a nice little dark environment to wild out in while i numb you because i i, I want to just clean this here part and not this here part. Man, when you clean your body, you're supposed to be cleaning all of your organs. I understand when people want to lose weight so bad because their self-concept is suffering. But y'all, we got to use common sense and we got to tell and share with our loved ones things like this. And I'm hopeful because I look at this person who I love so much that's going through this year that they're going to get the message, but it won't be delivered by me. And oftentimes the message comes when you get tired of being sick and tired or you will accept it from somebody else because you know a prophet is never welcome in their own home. So sometimes they'll have to find it from somebody else. Maybe another stranger that teaches something similar to this will be able to reach them. 
maybe it'll be them getting sick and tired of being sick and tired but unfortunately sometimes it be near-death experiences like yes. like the black box <laughs> warning for this rare type of thyroid issues or thyroid cancer maybe that person will have to need that and then then when they get to the cancer it's safe to be then they'll finally have the ears that are hearing but, but diabetes lupus these autoimmune diseases this gout crap this irritable crap this high blood pressure crap all of this is diet it ain't because your grandma had it. It's because you probably eating the same recipes that grandma used to cook. It ain't because it run in a family. It's because closed minds running in the family. And everybody, nobody ain't changed no mind. By the renewing of the mind. I'm trying to teach you how to renew your mind. For those of you that are here that know somebody with diabetes, put pre, press a, any any letter, any letter. Let just just press a letter in the comments. Let me see if anybody has diabetes or anybody knows somebody with diabetes. Let's see, let's see. Anybody, anybody, any letter, any letter, anybody? Yeah, anybody, anybody. Okay, okay, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Any letter. That's diet. I promise you it's diet. And it can be reversed. Yes. Diet. My grandma did. The friend that I'm speaking of does. My A lot of my co-workers did. A lot of my co-workers did, did, did because they were lying me and they just felt like I just got to grab something. I gotta grab something, they gotta hold me, gotta be, gotta be something heavy, you know, cause I'm a man, you know, and I gotta, you know, I, I gotta have a lot of meat on my bones, they said. Diabetes, diet, but at the same time, they can't, they, they like to drink their beer, which increases the yeast. They like to drink their wine, right? Which could dehydrate them even the more. They don't particularly like no water. I tried to give somebody with diabetes water one day, and he said to me, what the hell you doing? You trying to kill me? I'm like, what? Boy, give me my good water back. Give me my good alkalizing, uh, highly beneficial with electrolytes and, and mineral water back. He said, what you trying to do, kill me? Thanks for the information. We should type A, diabetes, diabetic eat. For real. That's, that's how they, they think. So for those of you who have diabetes or know someone let them know about the meal plan i have a meal plan for every blood type on my website the link is in my bio my website address is saltoftheearthpub.org so when i say link is in my bio what i'm saying here is the picture of me at the top if you click on it if you click on the picture of me at the top you get here here is this is here place it's called a bio right and in this bio, you will see my website. My website address is right there in the middle, right there. And all you have to do is touch it and then it'll bring you to my website. So the address is www. The doctor said I'm insulin resistant. Yeah, I have my bundle I'm working on it. There you go. Oh, I'm so happy for that. Thanks for the information. Yeah. So you click on that link and then you'll get here. And it's right at the top of the screen. I, I, I put bundles at the top so you don't even have to scroll. The most valuable one for you was going to be this black one, this last one right here, the third one. And in it, since you want to lose weight, you got weight loss cheat codes. And these are foods, these are oils, these are teas, these are juices that when you consume them based upon your blood type, you will lose weight. You're going to increase your microbiome diversity inside of your gut meaning the little critters and parasites that's up in there, they, yeah, they're going to be balanced. You're going to have some more good guys than bad guys up in there is what I'm saying. You're going to increase your digestive enzymes. So that means the old yeast and wheat. Yeah, the old diet, 
you know, that probably put out your hydrochloric acid, which is your acid that breaks down your food, your old diet, the old food that's sitting there, because you're now, because you're eating for your blood type, now your digestive enzymes are replenishing. What they're doing is they're eating that other stuff up, breaking it down real good for you. So now it can properly flow through the large and small intestines and ex be expelled out of you. In this here bundle, the third one that I'm speaking of, you can also get an at-home herbal potion. Remember how I talked about when you put stuff in your mouth, not only does your blood recognize it immediately, but it goes into your bloodstream, right? After it goes in your bloodstream, it goes over there to the liver because the liver is it's really how you live and helps you with toxins, right? Well, if you consume and when you consume your highly beneficial herbal potion, it comes with your highly beneficial oil. That oil is going to get into your bloodstream and soften all fecal matter. It's going to be, some of it is going to be sent over there to, through process, to the processing center, we'll call it, of the liver. Liver going to process it. Now you have toxins in the liver, being that you're lubricating the liver, the gallbladder duct, which sits right underneath here or on your right side, underneath your rib cage, it's going to open up because now it's lubricated now and it's going to release toxins out of here. This also is going to, in hand in hand, help your pancreas. The very thing that this here drug is going to tear up. No, no, no. This here herbal, at home herbal potion going to lubricate your kidneys your liver and your pancreas and have them working properly now. It ain't it ain't it ain't gonna put your stomach to night night. No, because those same lubricants is gonna lubricate that large and small intestines and it's gonna allow that old fecal matter to expel out of your body. Yeah, that's just your at-home herbal potion that you can make at home from the highly beneficial herbs, your highly beneficial oils, the alchemist oil, and everything that's on your list for your blood type and your blood is gonna first recognize it. That's the most important part. Your blood is going to recognize these things to be now anti-inflammatory. You, your blood was recognizing the other food based upon your old diet because it was making you inflamed. These foods are anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antiviral, anti-parasitic. And so then you have not only that, but you have, if you, if you click on the third um, option, you have a seven day meal plan with breakfast idea, lunch idea, snack idea, fruits, uh, vegetables, herbs, spices, your oils, your highly beneficial meats, your highly beneficial seafoods, dairy if you can consume it because some blood types like a bee could actually consume dairy. We could consume a, a whole, the whole categories, different categories of foods because we black balance. But your meal plan, your seven day meal plan gonna come with that even included herbal teas and sweetness that you need to use based upon your blood type. See, that's the type of thing that you do when you're diabetic. You change your diet that's going to be highly beneficial for you instead of going on a diet that's going to make you suffer. And you educate yourself on what you was eating and why you was addicted to it because sometimes it'll be emotional. Sometimes it'd be because you're having too much of high fructose corn syrup and you're on high. And when somebody is on a high, when they're on crack, you can't tell them nothing. You can't tell them nothing. And you got to understand that about yourself. There's also on my website a transformation course. I take people to the grocery store. I've been doing this over 10 years where I take people to the grocery store and I teach PLU numbers. I teach how to, it's 18 how to videos, how to clean your organs, how to shop for the proper water, how to read um, PLU numbers and look out for harmful ingredients, how to meditate because some blood types need mindfulness need to practice breathing exercises because based upon your cortisone level, some blood types have a high peak in cortisone levels when they get angry and it's hard for them to come down while some others have cortisone just running through their body all the time. So God forbid something was to happen. What, 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 what happened? So they all get stressed out. So, so you, you need to, once you get to know thyself though, you begin to know about your personality for your blood type. You begin to know about how your stomach is working and what you're prone to as far as sickness and disease if you're not eating for your blood type. But when you begin to eat for your blood type, those cortisone levels balance off. You're not stressed no more. You know, you have clear mind. Your cognitive thinking has returned. This, this, all of this has everything to do with your becoming state of being. 
come be coming from low frequency to a higher state of being. So you got your seven day meal plan on that bundle. You this is the third one that I'm talking about. You got your highly beneficial foods and the foods to avoid. You got um, your herbal potion on the bundle. And you got the weight loss cheat codes on the bundle. And I put that together. I took my time to create that for my reflections because I once upon a time, I never had no diabetes. But I once wore glasses. I once had thyroid issues and I know how much fatigue that could be on the body. I once had fluid filled acne. I once had irritable bowel syndrome. I once gained weight because of the thyroid issues and I could not lose weight because I was toxic. I once had vertigo. I once used to sleep till like three or four in the evening, every weekend and thought nothing of it because I didn't have no energy, no way. But I changed my life when I changed my diet. And here I am and I reversed all of those things. So if you have any questions, I'm gonna be around for a couple of questions and then I'm gonna wrap this up because this is your journey. You God in physical form, you either choosing life or you choosing death, but you gonna choose. You either choosing to pay the doctor or you gonna pay the farmer, but you gonna choose. You either choosing the broad road that leads to destruction or you can choose the one that's narrow that leads to eternal life, but you gonna choose. Choose life. Let me look at some of these comments. Goddess, do you have a video show to prepare your detox? To show how to prepare your detox. No, my sustained detox? No, I don't have a video for that. Have you tried tofu yet? If so, how do you prepare it? I've purchased tofu um, and tried it for a uh, AB blood type that visits me sometime, but that's not something that I eat. Mm -hmm. That's not something I eat. Um, you could prepare it, you could fry tofu actually. You can um, put it inside as if you're making like um, a soup per se, right? Because it is, it's a softer protein for a certain blood type, but bees, that's not nothing highly beneficial, beneficial for me. But when I start this community up, I'm gonna be making meals though for the A's and the AB's. And I'm gonna find somebody who, or tell an AB to come over for dinner, who is so for them to eat it and taste it or whatever because I want to have more available for those blood types because they are so rare and they talk about how they don't have many recipes. So I have this, um, this, uh, this they have this new plan on TikTok where they asked me if I wanted to be part of um, posting videos in a certain community. So I'm working on that. So maybe by the week or two, I have more information. You are A? Oh, well, you need to stick in time and um, stick around to join the community. Okay, let me see if I missed any more questions over here. Then I'm coming over here, y'all. Let's see. Y'all tap the screen. Get us to 5,000 um, likes right quick. It's offering time. Uh, a blood type here. Business. Just, I guess you're minding your business here. It's just eating her tofu and broccoli. There you go. And it's like, you know, once you get used to it, your body adapts easily. Once you get used to it, it's like an Asian type diet. They eat their tofu, they eat, they eat their little um, seafoods, and they're good, and they're full. They're full with minerals that they need because these foods that are highly beneficial for you are based upon the minerals that your body or your blood needs, right? And so they no, they no longer suffering. All right, we have 4.3. We at 3.9. When we get to 5,000, I'll re resume with answering the questions. Y'all tap the screen. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. I need a water break. Tap the screen. 4.3. 4.0. Thank y'all. Gotta stay hydrated. And right now, actually, I am on... Well, it's my last day, though. Yeah, it's my last day because I did my sustained detox for five days. This is sustained detox behind me, y'all. Sustained detox. This is my, um, this and the Alchemist oil are my top two selling products on my website. And so that's why I decided to put them behind me. They, they have a bundle on my website. That'll be the first, um, the first black 
bar right here is going to be the bundle for sustained detox and the alchemist oil we have 5,000 yet we have 4.8 and 4.3 These are powerful detoxers, the most powerful you're going to get, and they're beneficial for all blood types. I'm going to talk about them and answer the questions in a minute. Mm. We have 5,000 already over here. Thank you. I appreciate your support. Thank you. We have 4.7 over here. 4.7. Four point nine, and we have five. Good, good timing. All right. So, did I finish over here? Hello, hello. Hey, how you doing? Celtic salt. Yeah, the Celtic salt. Somebody mentioned that. Um, that's the one that's high magnesium. Magnesium is needed in every organ in the body. It's the one that the people that have diabetes, high blood pressure should be using in lieu of the pink because pink is high in potassium, but the gray is high in magnesium. And so if you have like uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, I would highly suggest that you get the gray one because you need magnesium throughout your body. I use cold press. Oh, you use walnut? Oh, okay, cool. Good for you. Let me see if I missed some um, questions over here. Let's say you have just a little bit of sustain left, but you did the dirty days, huh? That's good. I'm so proud of you. How you feeling? How you feeling? Did did did, did <laughs> I'm pretty I'm, I'm confident that that you didn't have the side effects that this that this Ozempic uh shot had. I know it was some good things. I know you saw some things coming out of there. <laughs> Wait, let me go back up. Let's see if I missed some of these questions up here. Yes, ma'am. I saute it with vegetables. That's what you do. So it will take flavor of the season. Yeah, it really does. So it's, it's really like nothingness, to be honest, to, to add more to that tofu. How do you make it? You can fry it. But it's like, it's like kind of like when I transitioned from eating chicken, I went to portobello mushrooms. Portobello mushrooms, I wet a portobello mushroom, like rinse it off, right? I wet it. And then I use flaxseed meal. There's a flaxseed meal because a lot of people can't take and use eggs, you know, who can't have many eggs based upon their blood type. And so I will get the flaxseed meal. I think it's by Bob Bread Meal. And so you just add water to this fat flaxseed meal and it gives you the egg consistency. Then I would use the highly beneficial flour to dip it in because now the mushroom has the eggy yolky wetness to it and it's easy to dip now inside of a flower that's highly beneficial and in that flower i have all of my highly beneficial seasonings and, and stuff that i would say fry my chicken with now my portobello mushroom tastes like fried chicken and it has that that, that texture and that crunch like a fried chicken would and i'm satisfied and I have all of my highly beneficial um, seasons. I have my Celtic salt or my pink Himalaya salt or both. And it's delicious and it's filling me up without filling me up in the wrong area with inflammation. Because for a blood type B, we get inflamed when we consume chicken. So it's no different than making a substitute like a mushroom when you're dealing with tofu. You season that bad boy up. And it's going to absorb or you season up your, your, your pot with your herbs and stuff and your shake season. And it's going to absorb all of that and taste like that because it's like a sponge. Just kind of like the portobello mushroom is. It's spongy. So just, you know, use that thought process and season it and don't deprive it of nothing that you would you fried chicken. Don't deprive, deprive it of nothing you would have did your fried pork chop. Whatever you put on your pork chop and chicken, put on that. Put on that. This long as it's still highly beneficial. Let's see. Okay. All right. So the herbal potion is good for parasites as well. Yes, it is. You, because of this here. The herbal potion is an oil. 
Parasites build up a lipid coating around themselves to protect themselves. While they get into a nook or cranny to suck all of the life force and nutrients out of you, they're up in, up in there trying to protect themselves so that you can destroy it. So when you consume an oil, your highly beneficial oil, it breaks through the lipid coating and exposes the parasite. So on at the at-home herbal potion, you consume it and not only is oil in it, but it has the alchemist inside of it and other herbs inside of it, right? So the herbs that are highly beneficial for your blood type, plus this alchemist oil, which is anti-parasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial, antibacterial, is now penetrating this naked exposed virus. The oil is pulling it out. Just kind of like people oil pull in with their mouth to pull up toxins and bacteria and stuff to help the integrity of the gum. Well, if you swallow in all of these with your oil, your at-home herbal potion, this stuff is coming out, right? So yeah, it's good for parasites. It's good for cleaning out your large and small intestines. That's why on the potion, I tell people to start doing it more than one time a day. Get it going in your system. Get everything lubricated and opened up. Unblock that, that clogged um, gallbladder duct. Unblock and get rid of some of them acids, that uric acid, that mucus, that lactic acid build up in them kidneys. Unblock the large and small intestines of the old fecal matter in the waste. Soothe that inflammation with that at-home potion because it's going to do all of that. Help out that pancreas. It's going to do all of that. Yeah, it would. It would. And yesterday, yesterday, just coincidentally, because I hadn't had any... Um, in alchemist oil swallowed in a while because the only reason why i'm doing my sustained detox is because i had a little bit after i made my big bulk um uh packages last weekend and i had a little bit left so i put them in some empty gel capsules and i was like well i'll take this because i haven't did my um a detox in a minute but i eat clean so i'm gonna just take this yesterday with my uh alchemist oil i took my sustained detox and then i did my um at home herbal potion with the alchemist oil was in at the same time and immediately I had just ate too and immediately I was in the, in the restroom I was like oh man my food gone already <laughs> my food gone already I was, and I was just empty all over again that's right it's working I'm so happy for you I'm so happy for you Nisa okay so yeah you put them two tacos together oh you good you good you good. Okay, let me go back to the bottom. I think I caught up every day. How many times a day would you suggest for the at-home person to begin? Three. To begin, three, yep. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, three. I sure would in the beginning because you want to lubricate everything up, you know? And your body, your body probably been missing out on whatever your highly beneficial oil is, whatever is providing for you for so long. Like your omega trees, you probably need that. Like, like like being um, high in vitamin E for some of the oils. Some of the oils, like if, for example, if it's a walnut oil, if your highly beneficial one is like a walnut, you've probably been deprived of that for your brain. The integrity of your brain needs that. For cognitive thinking, for DHA, for memory. So I would say three times a day because they got people that probably didn't been on, on um, with them antidepressants. The antidepressants, <laughs> probably have the integrity of their brain here, not to mention here, looking swole, being inflamed because the antidepressants is affecting your head. Some people that may have, have had, you know, or have right now a uh, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's and stuff like that. And they get on this immediately. They need to lubricate because they on fire, I already know. And the oil won't put the fire out. So that's why I say in the beginning, three times a day. Do that for about seven, seven days, and then maybe go down to two times a day. And then the next week, you know, go down to one time a day because now it's on your salads and now you're so used to putting this concoction together. And now it's always in your system. And you're gonna know, you're gonna know that it's working. The first time you take it, just lay back on the bed. And you can feel the inflammation subsiding. You can feel your gallbladder duct opening, opening up and releasing. 
Like for me, the first time I did it and I was at my toxic state of being, it was like little marbles that was rolling out off of my, out of my um, gallbladder duct. And I remember that like it was yesterday because I never, ever felt that good before right there. Prior to that, I was like, I was like holding myself like something ain't right up in here because I didn't understand my body at that point. I was like, something ain't right over here. I don't know from my shoulder, but, and I told my mom for the lack of knowledge, I was like, my titty hurt. It's like right behind my titty. Your titty hurt. That's what I told my mom because I didn't realize it was my liver. Backed up, toxic. And when I started doing these things, it was getting uncalled. I was like, oh, oh, that feels good. Whatever it is, that feels good. I didn't even understand how I understand now. So yeah, every time you eat something, it goes over there to the processing center called your liver. And if it's sugar, it's really destroying your liver. If it's high fructose corn syrup, it's destroying this thing here. So for those that have fatty livers, come on now. If you don't start digesting your highly beneficial oils. <laughs> Man, how do we order your products? The link is in the bio, saltoftheearthpub.org. Saltoftheearthpub.org is the website. So the link is in the bio. You could either click on the picture up there which will bring you to my homepage of TikTok and TikTok has my link to my website in it. Or you could just go to Chrome and hit enter www.saltoftheearthpub.org and you're going to get here. When you get here, it's going to it's going to be the main page of the homepage of my website. You can scroll down to go to the one that you want to order individually. Or you could stay at the top right there because I put the bundles at the top. The first bundle that's at the top that I'm talking about, it says on this screen, Sustain Detox and the Alchemist Oil. That first black ball. Sustain Detox and the Alchemist Oil. The first black ball. Oh, I, did, I didn't have the screen regular. The first black ball. You see it? Sustain Detox. And the alchemist oil, that first black ball. And so when you hit it, it's gonna take you to sustain detox and the alchemist oil. That's a bundle that's together. That's a detoxer. So same detox is right here, and the alchemist oil is right here. The alchemist oil must be diluted in a carrier oil. It will burn if you use this by itself. That's how powerful it is. It has a numbing sensation. This you can use for oil pulling with a carrier oil. You, you put a carrier oil, let's say for example, olive oil. That's a good, highly beneficial carrier oil. You put it with olive oil, a teaspoon of olive oil, and then you add about five drops of the, I mean the alchemist oil with it. So olive oil on a teaspoon, five drops of the alchemist oil, and now you have on your teaspoon an uh, antifungal, antiparasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, right here. You just have a, you have a medicine for you, for whatever ails you. You can put this on your toenail fungus. You can put this on your chest if you have mucus that you're trying to break up. You can use this for oil pulling. That teaspoon that you just made, you put it in your mouth, you squish it around in your mouth, it'll help you with gingivitis. It'll reverse your cavities. It'll, um, It'll whiten your teeth. It'll freshen your breath. It'll penetrate in your your tongue. Penetrate into what? Your blood. Right? Oil pulling, the process of it is it's pulling toxins. Toxins from here. Toxins from your tonsils. Even if you don't have tonsils, the path that your mucus has to flow through now has to still be opened up and toxins still have to be released. So this will really be highly beneficial for you if you don't have no tonsils. If you don't have no gall bladder no more too, you know, so you could also swallow that teaspoon that I just mentioned. You could swallow it and let that digest inside of here to kill parasites. The eggs and the larva inside of here will be killed by this while you die after you dilute it. Don't swallow this by itself. It has the highest form of oregano and the highest form of clove. Oregano is good for the numbing, 
clove helps with pain and numbing clove used to be used in di um, dentistry and so these two are both mega antiparasitics when you put them together mega antivirals so back to that virus or parasite when they get this near them they're gonna be out knocked out right because it's gonna clear them out of your system and so you want to drink water you want to be eating for your blood type to expel these things i'm talking about the egg the larva and the adult parasite so staying detox oh and another thing you could do with this here is you could clean your food with it too you rinse your fish fish off with it by putting about three to five drops of it in your water when you're rinsing your fish or your meat to clean bacteria parasites or you know any kind of uh, slime and stuff in from your fish or your meat to clean it off and to pull it out because it pulls the toxins out this works at a cellular level so same detox is a cellular level cleanse so that means it's going to cover the cellular waste it's going to cover all of the organs not like this here this um this here medication we were talking about you ain't gonna put your stomach to sleep it's gonna begin to pull things from the stomach glory and small all of the cellular waste out of your body from every organ and bulk up your stool not causing diarrhea and constipation no it's bulking it up because now the parasites are coming down successfully now now that old fecal matter now the liver kidney pancreas everything is working together because now you have the proper herbs when you take proper herbs they work together to heal your body they work together and being that they work together they're not going to hurt you if there's an overproduction let's say for example there's a whole bunch of magnesium from an herb well, guess what? If you have too much magnesium, you're going to begin to just kind of like urinate, which highly going to be possible if you haven't detoxed before. But you urinate the excess. It won't get up in there and start hurting you because it ain't a rock. Your body and your blood identify this as being something that it remembers based upon your bloodline. The herbs up in here are highly beneficial for all blood types. For all blood types. So that's the first bundle. So same detox and the alchemist oil. And actually, that's my highest seller that I have to make every day. <laughs> every day. Pretty much. That's what I was up to 3 o'clock in the morning doing. Yeah. So that's how you do it. Link in the bio. So must we detox. So must the detox be used with um, vegetarian capsules or can it be taken loose with tea? It is not a tea. It is bitters. These there are some bitters in here, and so the bitters are maybe gonna be nasty in your mouth. Just to be honest with you. So yes, on the card, I highly recommend that you use a veggie capsule, not the uh, gelatin capsule. We don't want to do that. We want to get the veggie capsule, and they're available at Sprouts. They're available at Whole Foods store. They're available at on Amazon. And so that's what I wrote on the back of this here card. It might be backwards to you, but the last line item is saying, the best approach is to purchase veggie capsules as the herbs are very bitter to taste. That's what the last uh, line item is saying on the card. Just helpful things that I put on the card for when the people purchase. Yeah, like staying hydrated, like avoiding more mucus forming foods while you're trying to expel um, these toxins and mucus. Like no alcohol, dairy, no high fructose corn syrup, or the unbeneficial animals for your blood type. And while cleansing, eat live foods for your blood type. Each week, the cleanse works at a, a deeper level. The product is designed for 30 days when taken as suggested. And of course, the last one that I told you about, the best approach is getting the um, veggie capsule. But yeah, I put that on a little card and this one sells. And actually, I made this here for me. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I ain't know y'all. But I had thyroid issues. And my liver was clogged up. And I needed help. And I made this for me. And I couldn't, it couldn't see. Everything was blurry. Because I didn't have the ability to eliminate or absorb my minerals. And I made this here for me. The, the people that be asking why... What, what you mean you you don't wear glasses no more because i did this. this this is this is me saving my life 
I'm just in a position now that I'm retired and I can help other people save theirs. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so hear that nature in the background. Oh, I love it, huh? You hear that? 360. That's my hummingbirds. I love being out here in Arizona. I put it in the veggie, veggie capsules. Yeah. Oh, okay. Natural grocery end cap. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, I definitely put mine in the veggie capsules too. You know, you put it in a juice that's kind of like acetic maybe. You could probably bypass it by doing that. But you don't want to mess up your whole juice or whatever and be gagging with it. Because like I said, they're bitter. But the bitter, the better. When you have bitters, bitters penetrate to that liver. Bitters help pull stuff with it. Bitters affect them they're going parasites too. The bitters. The nasty stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it's bitter. But it works. It saved my life. I know that. I'm the testimony. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. Can you use it? Uh, you said, can you use uh, it topical for pain? Yes. Like gout. I have a lady with what they call like the cancer people get the narap naraptopi. Some words I just stumble with pronouncing. Like naraptopi, naraptopi, and Worcestershire sauce <laughs> what the, why they made the words i don't know but you know what i'm saying the rap the me the rap the pee <laughs> she put it on her feet like right it helped her that's like when cancer patients get like the numbing or cold sensation or pain twittering uh um uh she says it's like ants like in her feet like sometimes she'll get and she put it on her feet a lady that had um arthritis that purchased it she put it on her uh, hands and her knees for pain and so i'm pretty sure any other area either help just like it helped those people in that area so yeah i don't i don't i haven't been in pain i haven't been in pain in a long time but it does work for pain you know what i used to let me tell you when i first made it i forgot all about this i just remember when i first made it of course i made it for um for, you know to heal my gut and inflammation in my gut but i had a wisdom too i forgot you know people was looking at me like i was crazy before i went to the doctor because i was in this place i was getting when i made this i was um learning about health and wellness and in alternate alternative medication as it pertains to pain too and i before i went to the dentist with this wisdom tooth issue i had put some of this here on my gums in the back and I told the dentist, I said, um, could you just pull it without the shot? Because I didn't want their drugs. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, I'm good. I'll be okay. And he started pulling and he was like, he was like literally sweating on me and nervous. He was like, are you okay? I've never did this before. I, I, I don't think I could do this. And all of the people, all of the other dentists came like, what? She didn't want the medication and they were looking at me like, who are you? <laughs> but I had put this on my gum before I went to the dentist. So it really didn't hurt. But they didn't even believe that it didn't hurt. And that man took forever to pull my wisdom to. Because he was scared. I scared to pull dentist. <laughs> but I was alright. I was alright. So yeah, heck yeah, it worked for pain. They thought I was like some kind of, you know, I don't know, ET. Which I am, but hey. <laughs> yeah. What's that one you used? I use these. The um, Sustain Detox and the Alchemist Oil. This is what I use. It's called Sustain Detox. The first thing that's on my um, website. The first I item. The first bundle. When you get to my website. This here. It looked like that there. Without the paper and stuff on it. It looked like that. Sustain Detox and the Alchemist Oil. That's what I use for my ailment. And you got to remember now, I was um, I was anemic. So Sustain Detox it has the highest form of iron in there. So I was finally getting oxygen being delivered to my blood. Sustain Detox, that's the first black ball right here. That's what I use too. Oh, you do? The Angel is back. What a joyful channel. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. And so, yeah. I use this here because I created it for me. 
<laughs> That's funny. So mo most be must be the detox to be used with or can it be taken loose with okay. It's, yeah, I read that one already. So it's not a tea. So staying detox is the one that I use for me being anemic, my irritable bowel syndrome, my thyroid issue, because me being anemic had to do with the fact that I didn't have no iron in my body. So saying detox has the most powerful form of iron. Me having an irritable bowel syndrome had to do with the fact that I wasn't going to the bathroom, right? Sustained detox herbs help to contract the small and large intestines in an in effort to pull old fecal matter and, and even cellular waste out of the body, right? So when you're dealing with old fecal matter, that's bile and cellular waste, um, that's coming from your lymphatic system to back up to your blood. So it's cleaning my lymphatic system to back, back up to my blood. What else I had? Thyroid issues. Thyroid has to do with toxicity in the body. Being toxic, being having too much of old fecal matter inside of your gut, inside of your liver. And so sustained detox helps to, because it's detoxing at a cellular level, so it's helping to purge the liver, right? So the toxins were being released out of the body. Not to mention the highly beneficial oils, being that I was consuming this here sometimes here, the oils was lubricating lubrication to my liver pulling them more drawing the toxins out and clearing up my gallbladder duck and what else i had so now being that i had glasses what i did with the eye doctor was told him we ain't gonna be constantly increasing no darn prescription i'm gonna keep my prescription and what i found out by keeping it and by doing this here I wasn't straining my eyes some more by keep, you know, getting a stronger prescription. And by doing this here, I realized, hindsight is always 2020. I realized my ability to eliminate and absorb minerals was way, way better than what it had ever been. And all of a sudden now I'm seeing way better. This is how nobody can tell me that the gut in the brain, the gut in everything that has to do with clarity don't coincide with each other because I was going womp, womp, womp with my vision at once upon a time. I did this here and I reversed it. So everybody different in their journey. I was on a path to get in well and to do whatever it took because I was tired of sickness and disease. And I encourage you to begin to eat right for your blood type and you will see all these things change. The quality of life I have now is in the way that I eat. I don't even eat every day. Or, all the time. I'm not a hunger, um, sugar baby or, you know, craving for no ice cream. I don't have no cravings or nothing. I either, I, I cook either what I want at that time and I cook for purpose. Like, oh, I'm gonna put this in there because yeah, I'm gonna get my iodine from here. I'm gonna get my magnesium from here. Cause I know so much and I'm, I want some more silica and yeah, I'm gonna do this one here. Cause this gonna help me. I'm gonna drink this tea today. Cause I'm gonna, you know, I want to calm down. I want to chill today. I want to go to sleep. So I'm gonna drink this here tea. That's how I eat and do everything that I do based upon what I want to feel that day. If I want to feel mellow, I have whatever tea. If I want, you know, like today, after I get off this live, I want to go to the gym. I want to go work out. That's why I have this here on and I'm just ready. I ain't even eat yet, but I'm hydrating myself. I just want to have my electrolytes. That's my thought process. I just want my electrolytes to get up in the air and, and go to the class that I want to go to and do some weights because I've been so busy doing products that I ain't been working out and I have energy to do it. So I'm making time to go to the gym for me. And I ain't hungry and I'm not going to eat before I go to the gym. But I still have minerals because I have my electrolytes. When you're hungry, you're hungry for minerals. You don't get hungry for a noun later. You don't get hungry for a donut. Because the donut and a noun later cannot give you the life force that you're looking for. That's why after you eat those type of things, you end up feeling maybe tired. It's kind of like a couple of minutes later, you still didn't feel your void, you realize. Because your void was because your body was looking for minerals, things that it could recognize based upon your blood type. Yeah. All right, so 
I have a tea though. I have a tea on my website called Be The Tea. If you wanna choose a tea that'll help you, um, you know, with irritable bowel and that's not bitter or nasty where you don't need the gel capsule. It's a really relaxing tea. It helps with your, um, it helps you lose weight too. It helps with the um, suppression of appetite. It's just not as bitter. It helps you go to the bathroom and it helps, you know, to clean out your liver as well. Like I said, it's called Be The Tea. It's not as popular as the same detox because the same detox kind of like go in with a punch and kind of like, you know, it, it, it gets deeper at the cellular level. So if you're talking like 20, 25, 30 pounds or something like that, Be The Tea is perfect to go in conjunction with your weight loss cheat code. I would highly suggest that and you could just sip on it and put some agave sweetener in it and just drink it lightly and you just have more bulk of a bowel movement but if you haven't detoxed before and you have some type of sickness or disease that's accompanied with your weight i would highly suggest that you purchase the sustained detox and knock that stuff up out of there yeah everything everything that i eat it has a purpose or oh, ain't going in my mouth we got to learn how to eat for our body our blood for what we need versus what, what the tongue craving for what it's getting all juicy and wet for like nah nah you ain't about to do that to me no i know too much <laughs> i know too much right okay so i'm hopeful that you all got the point of this message the purpose of this message today was about the people that are affected by diabetes diabetes has everything to do with diet i encourage you if you know someone that you share this video I'm gonna post it on my YouTube channel. If you know somebody with diabetes, if you know somebody who is contemplating to um, <laughs> to take pharmaceutical drugs for their diabetes, that they will consider just simply eating for your blood type. There are delicious meals on that meal plan. There is a highly beneficial herbal potion that will help them when they ever, or if ever they would ever get sick again in the physical reality. There are so many different herbal teas and fruit juices that will knock out and return your beneficial bacteria to your gut that are so re readily available and they taste good and it's not a diet, it's a lifetime, it's a lifestyle. So if you, if you know somebody, share the video with them. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. Y'all have a good day. I'm about to go to the gym and work out because it's summertime already out here in Zona. And I'll be darned. I gotta, I gotta get my, get my arms back together. They okay, but they gotta get a little bit better. I'm going to the gym. Thank you for being here, Miss Being So Miss Grateful. The, um, the cute accountant. I need an accountant. Hey, Lynn. You're so welcome. All right, Nisa. Bye, everybody. Y'all be blessed.